Look at that. <laughs> yes, snow. Welcome back everybody for another movement. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jared. I'm a graduate student studying music composition and film scoring at the University of Northern Colorado. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to apply the advice we get from the professors and people in our lives. Now, I think one of the main reasons it is hard to apply this advice is because often it's very farsighted. Because I think oftentimes when we're looking for advice, we're thinking about what can help us get better grades this week, rather than things that will help us three, four, five years down the line. But outside of the class setting, this is often the advice we're getting from our professors. So here are three ways to apply that advice. Tip number one, take some time to sit down and think if there are any regular small actions that you can do that apply the advice. Here's an example from my own life. My voice teacher was very passionate about her students carving out time in their schedules to take care of themselves because if you're tired or feeling under the weather as a vocalist, that's basically the equivalent of playing an out of tune piano. So I decided to sit down and I thought, what can I do that helps me relax? And here's what I decided, and this is completely true. I decided that most evenings I would go play Super Smash Bros with some guys down the hall. That's what I decided to do. It was that simple and it was that easy. But my progress in voice senior year skyrocketed because I decided to apply the advice I'd been given with a specific action. Number two, the second thing I would say is when you get this advice from your professors or someone in your life, ask them well what does that look like in your life or what effect did doing that have on your life this takes abstract advice and puts it into concrete action and concrete images and then it's much easier to apply number three the third thing that i would say is don't fall into the information trap now i can often go on youtube and look at dozens of videos about how to do something this youtube channel is a great example for years, I was watching videos on how to make YouTube videos, on affiliate marketing and all of this stuff, but I never started a YouTube channel until four months ago. So when you get advice, don't feel like you need more advice till you can apply it. Just because advice is incomplete doesn't necessarily mean that you can't apply it. So when you get advice, just take that step and apply it by using the last two tips that I gave and it'll be great. Also, stay tuned for a course that I'm putting on Skillshare soon. I'm really excited for you guys to be able to use it for free with the free trial on Skillshare. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.